Now at 11, the countdown is on. We are less than 24 hours away from Taylor Swift's takeover here in South Florida. Tens of thousands of fans will be living their wildest dreams when the superstar brings her famous Eras Tour to Hard Rock Stadium tomorrow. The people who live near the stadium, though, have learned to deal with big crowds during football games, tennis tournaments, and Formula One races. But Swifties may put their patience to the test. CBS News Miami Steve Majeri joins us from Hard Rock Stadium to explain. Taylor Swift can do a lot, and that includes stopping traffic. 199th Street is going to be closed off for this concert, but you can drive through there if you're a resident. Regardless, this concert this weekend is going to bring in a lot of car traffic and foot traffic. Janice Span Givens has always wanted an access pass but never got one until today. She won't need to go to the stadium to know what it's for. I think with all the commotion, I probably could hear it from my house. This map from Miami Gardens shows that 199th Street will be closed off unless you live in Miami Gardens. You'll have to show this pass or a driver's license with the Miami Gardens address to drive through it. Span Given says whenever there's an event at the stadium, she usually goes someplace and stays there until it's over. Taylor Swift will be here all weekend, so she'll have to use her pass. Knowing how large Taylor Swift's concert is going to be for a whole weekend, this is a lifesaver for me. There's still going to be traffic, though. Yes, but at least I can get through. That's the difference. At the stadium, there was a pop-up Taylor Swift merchandise store where fans waited all day to get some gear. Tomorrow it will be open, but only to those with tickets to the concert. So how long did you guys wait to get your stuff? Oh God, um, like three hours. Down on 27th, Lorna's Caribbean and American Grill just finished up this new patio. That adds about 20 new seats. And what they really hope will reel in some fans is this special cocktail for the weekend. <laughs> Aptly called the Swifty. It's right on time. We open up the deck for more seating just for events like this just so we could get a lot of Swifties to come bum rush this deck. Span Givens is glad that even with an army of loud fans taking over the town, she won't have to take any detours to get around it. If I didn't have this, I would have to drive all the way down to 183rd and come all the way around to get to my house. This way I can still come down 199th. 199th will be closed at 10 a.m. on Friday. The gates will open up at 4.30 before the concert starts at 7. And you should expect your ticket to be scanned more than once once you enter Hard Rock Stadium. In Miami Garden, Steve Majiri, CBS News, Miami.